All right, two people at the gym this morning stopped me and said, You're huge. Tell me, oh. that, yes, there was that. And then, <laughs> You're yoked? No. Uh, no, carry on. I thought that's what you were going to say. I said, yeah. Tell me the sun comes out tomorrow. Yeah. Did and they I think s- that you were. No, they don't think. <laughs> They don't think you're me, right? Oh, um, gosh, no. He's no. much more handsome. Yeah, Thank you're right. You. You're right about that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See, I bet you wish you never started that conversation. Oh this allows me to tell my story, which is um, Rob Caldwell recently started going to the same gym as me, and he, oh. is a, he is a beast. I did not, like, obviously I knew he worked out and stuff, but he's got this, this sled that, like, uh, NFL players... <laughs> And he's pushing it across the gym floor. <laughs> Talk about the sun. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here are the showers out there still. This is kind of the last gasp of this really unsettled weather uh, with the showers and the clouds. But it's pretty consistent stuff up towards Bangor and uh, Bar Harbor and a couple of little uh, showers that could have hail into the foothills and mountains. And we saw a few moments where the sun tried to peek out in Portland and into the mid coast and into the mountains, but generally, right, another cloudy day. And uh, there's our low, which if you're paying attention, it took from Sunday to get from here to here, which is wild because a storm would typically take a half day, maybe a day to travel that ground, but it was cut off from the jet stream and it just meandered around. But you can see that the showers are kind of moving with that low and so they're moving away from us we'll get less and less moisture enforcing the atmosphere still though through tonight the showers will continue there'll be some drizzle temperatures in the 40s a lot of clouds and tomorrow morning you'll wake up and say we're going to do this again it'll be cloudy again temperatures in the low 40s but the difference is this time we're driving some dry air down with a high pressure to the north and so we start to clear out through the middle of the day and then into the late afternoon and by before sunset Pretty much the whole state should be cleared out. We'll be in the mid 50s, and that'll be kind of a signal of where we're going over the weekend, which is substantially better as we've talked about. So we start Saturday morning in the upper 40s. We push into the upper 60s and low 70s, and we see just a few cumulus clouds in the afternoon, and we do it again on Sunday. And one nice thing about this weekend, too, is there's not a big divergence between coast and inland. Sometimes there is this time of year. It can be a huge difference, but there won't really be this time. Unless you're on the islands, then that's its own situation. But generally, the coast should be just as warm as inland. There goes the low. See you later. High pressure builds in, and we look good uh, over the weekend into the beginning of next week. We do have a little backdoor cold front that comes through on Tuesday, cools us back down. That's not a huge deal, though. We're still going to be right around 60 degrees. Only thing to watch, Tuesday night. I have us dry right now, but you can see it's pretty close. That rain is right down across northern Massachusetts, so I might have to add a raindrop on Tuesday night if that shifts. I don't have it right now, and if that storm stays to our south, we will be rain-free through at least Thursday of next week, and obviously these temperatures are much more palatable for most of us. And just to see the sun, so nice. That's going to be big. All right, Keith, thank you.